Can you see me? Because I really don't know if you can. Okay. I look like a giant banana, but that's okay. Hi, I'm Maria. Why did I just sound like a cat? Hi, I'm Maria, and welcome back to my channel. So, basically this video is going to be another video talking about my jaw surgery and everything about that. If you haven't seen my first video, um, I kind of explain like a little bit of my situation and things like that in there. Um, but at that point, I had just gotten my bottom braces on, I think. And now I have top and bottom, and I'm like a month and a half out from surgery. So, um, a lot of time has passed, and I guess a lot of things have happened. Um, nothing like too extraordinary, just things that um, if I was watching, like I would want to know about these changes. So that's kind of why I'm making this video. I really like watching other people's videos on their experience like leading up to surgery and after. Um, so that's kind of why I'm doing these videos and yeah, so I think I'm gonna leave my first video as kind of like the overall like initial introduction to everything and this is gonna be my number one video like first starting of like the experience I guess so I'm gonna try to number every video starting with this one up through my surgery because hopefully I'll be able to record some more and document the whole process a little bit more for you guys okay so where do I begin I got my bottom braces on I think it was December because I got my wisdom teeth out okay wait actually back up um, let's start with the very beginning of this process. So around June or July of last year, I think, it was sometime in the summertime, my dentist told me, was like, not told me, but like she was really pushing me to look into jaw surgery and getting it done because she was like, you're going to lose all your teeth and blah, 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 blah. And she was probably just trying to scare me into having it. So I ended up like looking into it. I ended up getting my wisdom teeth taken out in November, I think, and I got my bottom braces put on in December, and I had those on for a while. They moved my teeth very quickly. Um, I talked about that in my braces video, about how like, my teeth were shifting so quickly and I wasn't expecting that. So I had my bottom braces on to fix like one or two like mild issues. And I got my top braces on, I can't remember, I want to say May, actually it was before, it might have been in April, actually yeah, I think it was in April, yeah, April, I got my, why do I want to, I'm pretty sure it's May, or April, May, okay, April or May, one of those, I got my top braces on. And I got, as you can see, I got clear. I, I literally feel like I look like a jack-o'-lantern. Um, I say this all the time, like, as much as I'm very glad and grateful that I have clear braces because I feel like they're so much less noticeable, at the same time, I feel like when somebody looks at me and I smile with my teeth, it's like, oh yeah, a normal smile. But then it's like, wait, what's wrong with her teeth? Like, it doesn't automatically click, like, Oh yeah, she has braces on, no big deal. It's kind of like, what is that? So it, it kind of almost draws more attention to it. And I think that just has to do with like, I am just self-conscious of it. And like, I guess my mouth is shaped differently than other people. So in other people, it may not be as noticeable. But for me, just the way I smile and things right now, um, the sides really show a lot. So you can see it sticking out. So it's kind of like, a little bit more noticeable um, but yeah they are clear ceramic and on the lot ones I have like normal braces and I have hooks that go all the way around they're not my surgery hooks yet um, these are gonna be here for surgery but they're not the surgery hooks I'm not gonna get those on for like a few more weeks and on the top I have clear ceramic like I said and the rubber bands are clear I think I'm gonna try to go back really soon and get white rubber bands or like whatever the bands are that they put on each bracket I want them to be white because the clear are just too easily stained um, if you've ever had clear braces you know like you can't eat tomato or cheese or like anything like that because they will get stained so fast. I just got these rubber bands changed, I think like last week, 
and they're already like stained like they look like this shirt okay and it's it's not a huge deal because it's not super noticeable but like after a while it'll start to really like get worse and it kind of looks like somebody took like a yellow highlighter on the individual um, rubber bands not the whole brackets but because of it it like kind of makes your teeth look a little bit bad so just be mindful of that if you are planning on getting braces for this or whatever um, I do recommend clear braces um, they're a little bit more expensive but and they're not as strong for surgery um, some orthodontists and surgeons I know will say like you have to get the metal ones but mine was okay with um clear which i mean maybe um, they're gonna end up breaking off in surgery who knows whatever i think that's it as far as the whole braces thing okay so wait hold on okay so i need to get you guys to understand this little situation that i've been dealing with lately okay so around the time that i got my top braces on i had gone to my surgeon to get my molds done and so far i've had my molds done three times once when i first got my braces on my top braces on because that's when i really count like having braces on um which was in like april or may and then the second time was like at the end of may and he was like okay yeah or maybe it was the beginning of june oh my god i don't know anything let's just say it was the end of may okay so the end of May, I had my molds done for the second time, which if you don't know, um, you have to go to your surgeon every few weeks slash months to get your molds done. Um, so that way they can kind of see like where your teeth are laying so that way they can see how they'll fit together in the end. Cause that kind of tells them like when you're ready for surgery. And girl, let me tell you what, I been knew that I was ready for surgery like last year. Okay, I knew, I knew. And my surgeon was like, oh yeah, uh, six to eight months more, oh yeah, a year more, oh. No. No. So I go at the end of May, and I get my molds done. And he's like, oh yeah, when you come back and see me next time in like the middle of August, we can probably schedule your surgery or like start getting ready for surgery. Like that's going to be the last time I see you until surgery. And so I was like, okay, so we're going to move this thing up. Okay, so I had to make an appointment with my surgeon, and this was gonna be the appointment that I had to have to like do my final molds and like be ready for surgery, right? And he wanted me to come in like two and a half months later, which, what's the point of me waiting two and a half months if I was ready for surgery three months ago, you know? So I called them and was like, Dr. Taylor, Dr. Taylor is the name of my surgeon. Dr. Taylor said that he wants to see me in like sometime like mid-July-ish. Even though it was like mid-late August he wanted to see me in. And the lady was like, oh, okay. She scheduled me for this Thursday coming up. Like it's Tuesday right now. So I wouldn't have even gone to him already, right? I went to him last week. So I scheduled the appointment for this coming up Thursday, which would have been like a month and a half after that second appointment right then a few weeks pass and i call up my orthodontist and i'm like oh something came up and i have to reschedule my um braces tightening appointment can we move it up like a week or two got that one moved up okay and that was last week and i went and i just figured like let me talk through it with her and just kind of see like how much I can push the system to get everything moving quickly. And I kind of told her, I was like, I played like the divorce parent kind of thing. And I was like, well, Dr. Taylor said that I'm ready. And she was like, well, I guess since Dr. Taylor said you're ready, then we can do it. And I said, okay. So then I called my surgeon and I was like, oh, something came up. And is there any way we can move up my appointment to this week? So then I got that moved up a week and a week in like the grand scheme of things seems like nothing but in jaw surgery time especially when you're getting this close it really makes a huge difference because you have to be in the wires for a certain amount of weeks you have to have things like waiting for it's like crazy so every week counts so the fact that I could get that one surgery appointment moved up a week meant that I could probably get my surgery moved up to you know a whole month difference because he was looking at like November, December, 
and your girl was trying for like August, September, okay? So at my orthodontist appointment, they did the tightening, they did all that. She basically was like, well, since he thinks that you're ready for surgery, the next time you come in, we'll put the surgery wires on you, which the surgery wires are much, much, much thicker than the wires that they have for normal braces. Um, these wires are really thin. They're kind of like thin wires on a guitar versus, you know, one of the thicker wires on a guitar. So my next orthodontist appointment is scheduled for August 22nd and that's when they're going to put on my surgery wires but I'm going to try to finesse the system again and get that pushed up more because if I want to have my surgery in the beginning of September, I really wanted it like at the end of August but that might be pushing it, um, I'll settle for the beginning of September then I need to move that appointment because I have to be in the wires for like, I think they said like five weeks, but it could be like less than that if we absolutely had to. But as of right now, it's for August 22nd. It's definitely not gonna stay at that, but we'll see. So what happened at my surgeon appointment last week? We did molds. He basically was like, yeah, you're ready, let's go. My plan worked. I met my co-surgeon, I or my co-surgeon. I'm a surgeon. I met his co-surgeon and he's basically like the other person in this visit, like this medical thing, whatever. He's the other surgeon. And he like took one look at me, which I kind of haven't really gotten too much into this whole thing, but, and it might be like this with like a lot of people, but I kind of feel special about it. Like my surgeon really thinks that this is gonna be like an extraordinary case for me. Um, or with me. He's really excited for the external um, factors, which I mean, let's be real, it, it matters. And so that's kind of a relief to me that he really thinks that it's gonna turn out really good. Cause I mean, obviously I don't want my face to be like worse. <laughs> he just really thinks that it's gonna make a huge difference for my appearance. And that's not everything and that's not what the surgery is about, but I mean, let's be real, it's a huge plus. So when his co-surgeon came in, he took one look at me and was like, oh my God. And he was like, this surgery was made for you. And I was like, what is that supposed to mean? And he like bent down and like was looking at my profile and was like, ooh yeah, oh my God, this is gonna be so good. So that's kind of exciting and nice, I guess. But like low key insulting, cause like, do you really think I'm that ugly now? whatever. I kind of covered like what's going to happen like physically to me in my first video I think but it's basically just going to fill out this area because this area is um, pretty flat and then obviously this is going to be brought back so everything's going to be more symmetrical. Um, as far as my bite goes, so it's really bad now. I kind of talked about that in my braces video, how the braces are making my bite a lot worse. Oh my God, it's so much worse now. Constant pain. As I'm speaking right now, it's like just this, this irritatingly sore feeling, especially on this side. I don't know why it's so much worse on this side. Um, I know I do have an imbalance as far as my, mid, my midline meeting. It is a little bit that way. Nothing tremendous, but that might have something to do with why it's mostly on this side. And the grinding is so bad. And at night, this is kind of weird. And if you're having jaw surgery or if you've had jaw surgery, let me know if your jaw ever does or did this. Um, at night, I will be like in a deep sleep and then my jaw will move like, like that kind of. And then like, I'll kind of twitch in my sleep or kind of, I guess I'll be coming up from a dream or like a deep sleep and I'll like try to subconsciously like fix it. And when I do it, oh, I just get chills thinking about it. When I do it, it flicks back. And when it flicks back, mm, I can't even say it. It, it like crashes with these other teeth and I've chipped so much of my teeth <laughs> because of that. And it just happens constantly, like all the time. It hasn't been happening recently in the last couple weeks. I can't really remember the last time it happened recently. And I think that's because my bite's changing more and more now, but when it was in that beginning stages up until a couple weeks ago, it would just do that constantly. And I don't know if that's just a phase that I'm going through now that it's kind of not doing that so much anymore, but oh God, it's so bad. Ever since I got my top braces on, 
I'm able to, I don't want to say I'm able to bite into things better. The braces have made it easier because they're, they come out instead of just having the flat surface pushed way back. I kind of have like a fake set of teeth there, which is really bad because especially since they're ceramic, they're not as strong. So I kind of use those to bite and chew into things. That kind of helps, um, but it's still really hard to like bite into pizza. Salad especially is really hard to chew with my back teeth. Yeah, it's just overall just not fun. And let's not even get into the whole like food getting stuck in the braces thing because ugh. And yeah, oh, okay, the last thing about my bite is my back, like all my back teeth, my molars, they either don't touch or when they do have to touch to like bite down on a salad or something like that, they only fit together like when they're, pu I'm pushing really hard, you can't tell, but like when they're pushing really hard is the only time that they, it's, there's like no in between. It's either they don't touch or they don't push so hard on each other because they don't I don't know why it does that but it's really painful and my back teeth are getting grinded down so much like I was feeling it on the way home today it was hurting so bad like one of my teeth and it's because of the the just the 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 this I just I don't know I don't know I don't know what it is it's just gripping so hard at all times it, Oh, I'm ready for it to be over with. At the last appointment, we talked to the off the surgeon office's insurance lady who kind of like handles getting the insurance to approve the surgery and things like that. And basically, we didn't know this, but whatever. My surgeon's office is not a provider for insurance. So any kind of um, help from insurance that we want to get for the um, surgeon's fee will have to be like on our own like we would have to go and do that ourselves if that makes sense um i don't really know how to explain like insurance terms but it makes sense in my head i guess oh i did want to mention um prices because i know a lot of people in these videos don't talk about the price of their surgery and like how much the hospital fee was and stuff like that because they don't feel comfortable with it but whether i feel comfortable with it or not I want to tell you about it because I feel like that is a huge factor in the decision making process of this surgery and like when you want to get this surgery done because it's a lot of money and you should know realistically like how much things like this are costing. Um, so I don't want to like hold back that information. I'm going to share everything else with you so why not share this? You know, it's not, I'm clearly not getting this done for, I because I want to be prettier or things like that. And even if I did want to, even if I was doing this for cosmetic reasons, there's no reason for me to hold back because things like this are happening and like I'm spending whatever my surgeon's fee these are all rough estimates because obviously we aren't super 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 close to the surgery right now etc etc so the estimate that the office gave us the other day was around 15 grand okay and that's just what my surgeon is charging to perform the operation fifteen thousand dollars the woman who handled the insurance and all the billing and things like that explained that we can expect the hospital fee to be four to five times that fee. So let's just say it's four times that. That's 60 grand. So that's 75 grand. So you're looking at around 75 plus for this surgery. I live in Florida in the United States and I am going to try to get as much of the surgery in the hospital covered by insurance as much as I possibly can. Like I said before, my surgeon is not a provider for insurance, so any money that we want back on that, we will have to deal with on our own terms and not through the office. And then the hospital fee, we can obviously get some help with, but then you still have to pay um, the deductible and things like that. And big adult terms that I don't want to think about. So yeah, I just wanted to put that in there and let you guys know about that. So my next surgeon appointment hasn't been scheduled yet because I'm waiting on him to contact my orthodontist and call a bunch of people and do a bunch of things once he looks at my molds from last week to make like the final arrangements and then his surgical assistant or like whoever kind of coordinates the surgeries with the hospital that I'm gonna be at will call me 
to get more information and then schedule my pre-op appointment where I'll get like my physical and make sure that I'm in good shape. And that, I think he said that will be about a week before surgery, um, but those things are good for 30 days. So who knows when I'll have that done. I wanted to do a profile shot because I want to do that in every video, even though my profile is really not gonna change until after surgery. I like seeing that and I like when people do that. So here is my face straight on. Um, my braces have really made my bottom lip come out a lot. And I don't think it's just because of the braces. I think it's because it's tilting my teeth more. So my lip is just coming out more. From the front, it kind of just makes it look like it made my bottom lip look bigger. But from the side, it really makes my lip look like it's hanging out. I really don't like that. Here's my smile. Oh god, I hate it. I hate it so much. Uh, this is it. This is how until I can take it down. Uh, wait, hold on. Okay. Okay. If you have any questions at all regarding anything about this whole thing, um, leave them down below or you can email me if you'd rather like private message me about it and I will be more than happy to help you. I hope I will be able to make another video really soon as soon as I have another update for you guys. I will see you whenever that happens. <laughs> okay, bye!